Tez Seton is a company headquartered in Seton, Zlinsky, Czech Republic. The company specializes in the design and manufacture of generators and related components for the traditional and renewable energy, automation, construction, rail and science industries. Their products include mechanical parts, discs, motors, transmissions, segment plates and pole plates, as well as tools and equipment, providing a wide range of essential equipment at competitive prices. In addition, Tez Seton also specializes in repairing and manufacturing DC motors, electric motors for the metallurgical industry, synchronous and asynchronous generators from 5 to 15,000 kilowatts. They also focus on general-purpose machinery, inductors, winding machines, power pulleys, stator and rotor packages, frames, guards, shafts, excitation, asynchronous motors, etc. The rotor and stator manufacturing and production process for generators usually includes the following steps, design and planning, determine the technical specifications and detailed design of the rotor and stator based on the generator's requirements electricity. Fabrication of steel core, the steel core for the rotor and stator is made from many silicon steel sheets, usually stamped into a circular disc shape with grooves to place conductive elements. Select material, the steel core is usually made from silicon steel with a content of 2% to 5% C to reduce hysteresis and eddy current losses. Steel rolling, steel sheets are made by hot rolling or cold rolling methods. Cold rolling method gives higher magnetic permeability and lower core loss. Steel cutting. After rolling, the steel will be cut into thin sheets with a thickness of 0.35 mm to 0.5 mm, stamping, the thin steel sheets are then stamped into a circular disc or other necessary shape, depending on the generator. Stacking and joining, steel sheets are stacked and joined together to form a steel core for the rotor or stator, winding, for the stator, the electrical wire will be wound around a steel core to create a coil. The rotor may also have windings depending on the specific design. Assembly and testing. Finally, the steel core and other parts are assembled together and tested to ensure they function exactly as designed. This is a general process and may have variations depending on the manufacturer and specific design of the generator. Tez Seton can apply similar steps in their production process. Dimension measurement. Determine the size of the bottom core and the length of the stator. Fabrication of the winding mold. The winding mold should be made from aluminum or iron, with dimensions suitable for the stator. The thinner the mold, the better the wire wrapping process will be. Cutting insulating paper. Cut a sheet of paper 2 mm larger than the stator length and the remaining dimension of the paper will be 3 times the bottom size. Then wrap paper along the bottom, taking care to tuck the excess paper inside the stator so that it will be easier to insert the copper wire. Wrapping the wire. Before wrapping, it is necessary to clamp the mold between two pieces of shell, fix the copper wire and prepare a vice tool to wrap the wire more tightly. Avoid wrapping by hand because it can easily cause the winding to come loose. The winding wire is then inserted into the grooves of the steel core, ensuring that the wire is wound tightly and evenly. Finally, check the sturdiness of the winding wire and wrap it with insulating tape to ensure safety. Helmke Group is headquartered in Sarstedt, Germany. This is a company specializing in the production of electric motors and drive systems, providing engineering, inspection, project management, repair, maintenance and inauguration services. The high voltage coil assembly manufacturing process at Helmke includes the following steps, coil design, determine coil design and specifications based on voltage and current requirements. Choose material, choose high purity copper or aluminum wire and cover it with an insulating layer to prevent short circuits. Wire winding, the wire is wound around a steel or non-magnetic core, depending on the device design body of the high voltage coil. Electrical testing, check the resistance and inductance of the coil to ensure that it conforms to specifications. Assembly, assemble the coils into the generator or equipment used, ensuring that they are properly positioned and free of mechanical problems. Final inspection, perform functional tests to ensure the coil operates correctly and efficiently. Finishing, the coil is then finished, including moisture protection and insulation, before being sent for installation. This is a general process and may have variations depending on the manufacturer and design. Specifically of high voltage windings. Helmke is able to apply the same steps in their manufacturing process, as well as use advanced technology and techniques to ensure the quality and performance of the final product. 
The process of maintaining, repairing and regenerating electrical equipment, especially generators of the world's leading factories. MDA, Mechanical Dynamics Analysis, is a company specializing in maintenance, repair and regeneration services of electrical equipment, especially generators. Below is MDA's generator stator rewinding process. The rewinder supplied by MDA includes new stator bars, connecting rings and end-of-line support components. The rewinding process begins with removing the old stator bars. Then, the stator slot walls and vent tubes in the stator core are cleaned and prepared for the installation of the new bar. The stator core is inspected both visually and electrically using electromagnetic core imperfection, LCID, testing to identify shorted core plates that could cause overheating and future damage. LCID tests were performed three times during the rewinding process without detecting any related phenomena. The stator core is inspected both visually and electrically using electromagnetic core imperfection, LCID, testing to identify shorted core plates that could cause overheating and future damage. LCID tests were performed three times during the rewinding process without detecting any related phenomena. Bar installation includes replacement of original wire end supports and connecting rings. Additionally, gasket insulation, molded to shape, is installed replacing the original connecting ring between the upper and lower bars in the end of the wire. Finally, after installing the stator slot, all final electrical tests are performed with excellent results. Field rewind, after removal from the stator, the generator field was determined to have damaged end of wire blocks. The field was then sent to Ethos Energy's turbine generator repair facility in St. Louis, Missouri. Incoming electrical tests are performed when the school arrives in St. Louis, confirmed multiple shorts in the field coil. After removing the clamping rings and testing the unit, Ethos Energy recommended a complete rewind to remove the shorts and properly adjust the wire end stop. After customer authorized rewinding, the unit is disassembled and cleaned. During this time, all removed components undergo formality inspection and complete NDE testing. The coils are cleaned by sandblasting and inspected. After testing, the coils are reinstalled and electrical tests performed according to international standards and industry procedures with optimal results. Koffler, specifically Koffler Electrical Mechanical Apparatus Repair Incorporated, is a company specializing in the repair and maintenance of electrical and mechanical equipment. The company provides services to a diverse range of customers, including the U.S. Navy, oil refineries, steel companies, and other utilities. Koffler is headquartered in San Leandro, California, USA, and is known as one of the largest electromechanical equipment repair and rebuild facilities on the west coast of the United States. The company has extensive experience and expertise, along with diverse technical resources, helping them serve their customers' needs effectively. After cleaning the rotor bars with sand, the next step is to assemble and carefully check the cleaned rotor parts. Make sure that there is no damage or any cracks. Place the rotor bars in the correct position on the rotor shaft. This requires precision and care to ensure that the bars are in the correct order and not misaligned. Place the washers and secure them to keep the rotor bars stable and not move during operation. After installation, recheck the entire rotor system. The employees at Koffler Electrical in San Leandro are known for their professionalism and efficiency in their work. They have the skills and experience to handle complex electrical and mechanical equipment repair and maintenance projects, including large generators. Their craftsmanship helps ensure that every job is done safely and on schedule, while providing the best service to customers. The process of transporting a 60-ton generator requires careful preparation in specialized vehicles. Preparation phase, this is an important step to ensure safety for both people and goods. It is necessary to package and bale the generator carefully before shipping. Six axle trucks need to be inspected and prepared to withstand the weight of the generator. Loading needs to be done by a professional team to ensure the generator is placed safely and balanced on the vehicle. The convoy needs to be formed and arranged according to the correct procedures to ensure smooth movement. The transport process needs to be closely monitored, ensuring compliance with regulations on tonnage and traffic safety. Pick up vehicle and cargo at destination. Upon arrival, unloading should be done carefully to avoid damage.